Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that have never been here before, I'm Jackie, a licensed clinical mental health counselor. And you know what? I wanna to come to you guys every week with some new information, some little tidbits here and there on things that I think are helpful to you or someone close to you. Just make sure you share this information if it doesn't directly apply to you. But you know what? Most of the things I share apply here and there to everyone somehow, some way, okay? So first, you know what, today I wanna to talk about Suicide Awareness Month and that is the month of September, we are already in it. You know, I shared a post this morning on my Instagram and Facebook pages and I just wanted to make sure I made a video about it because guess what? Sometimes words can be miscommunicated and misunderstood on paper and I want you to guys to see like this live interactive moment where I'm trying to give you some raw emotion. You know, when I was in my 20s, I went through a very difficult breakup. I was with someone who, oh, he was so lovable. He was a great guy. He had a great family. And you know what? I had all my eggs in that basket. And I just knew, right, in pure Leo fashion that this was going to be the person that I was going to marry and I was going to wind up with. And guess what? When things kind of went haywire and we broke up, I was not prepared for that at all. Most of us aren't when that happens. So the thing is, what made this different than other breakups was that I was in a severe state of anxiety. I had a lot of ups and downs and worries from day to day about what was going to happen and what would be the outcome of this situation. Would we stay broken up? Would we get back together? Would I be able to move on with my life? Would I find someone better? Blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, I allowed my emotions and my anxiety to get the best of me. I found myself in a situation where I was literally standing on the streets of Michigan Avenue, hoping to get hit by a car when I walked in the street. I got into my vehicle a couple weeks later and I started driving reckless, recklessly on Lakeshore Drive. I was really hoping to get hit. I wasn't thinking about anybody else, only thinking about my selfish needs and my desires at that time, which were to be in the relationship. And when that didn't work out, I didn't know what to do. So the thing is, if you find yourself in this position, you're going through some severe anxiety, you don't know where else to turn, make sure you look up Talkspace.com or Psychology Today and find a therapist. I love Talkspace. I recently just started counseling with them and I just love the easy access that clients have to us therapists. You can message, you can make video calls. Um, there's so many different ways to be in contact with somebody. So I want you guys to make sure that you do that. Again, if you're interested in any kind of information like this on an ongoing basis, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys later.